Hello and welcome back to Shining Force CD. I'm Fuzzy J, and today we are headed into what was it, Gundal Fort? Yes, uh, Gate the Gladiator from Gardenia just came out from the fort telling us that for every soldier of the Cypress army we kill, um, they kill a Gundarni Gardenian. So, yeah, we need to rescue who's left. There can't be that many, because we have killed a lot of people. Um, I have promoted a number, another good chunk of the party, and equipped them with the items that they couldn't use before. So, let's have a look. Been a long time, Prince Nick. Oh, that's, uh, was it Doltam? From the beginning, and the other one, uh, Farbell? I believe was her name. You may be strong enough to defeat Fazu, but you will not defeat me. And then he roars. Danta is his name. They're mine. A few fizzle balls, and they'll be toast. Prince, prepare to meet your doom. We'll turn the prince into mint. Thanks, rhyming minotaur. That's Farbell, a paladin, and Danton, a beast. How is she a paladin? If anything, she's a blackguard. Nothing special, just more of Waldo's goons. Ouch. Seems to have soldiers, but no wizards. Be careful, Nick. She must be hiding some traps. Alright, so we got pretty straightforward. Evil pixies, deadly borns, ghouls. These look new. Brass gunner. Yeah, they are. Ooh, that's a lot of defense. Oops. Um, what's this way? More ghouls, more brass gunners. Deadly Born. Don't think really any of these things carry anything useful for me. There's a treasure chest right there, so I'm gonna have to make sure I get that. And a Minotaur. Alright. But we also have this Fizzle Ball. No attack, 33 defense, 33 hit points. This is the reason that there are no enemy mages. Magic cannot be used in this fight. Yeah, so we're pretty much stuck. So we'll figure out how that works. Great. Except you kicked my other mage. I don't want. Hmm. I'm gonna figure out how to get him out of this party. I'm pretty sure somebody has an angel wing. We'll be back in a minute. Alright everyone, we're back. And as you may notice, everybody looks a little different. Um, so I... started to fight this fight and I wasn't really a big fan. Um, either my already promoted characters were getting a, a crap ton of experience and we're gonna start like super leveling, level two, level three, level three. Um, <clears throat> so I backed out and I promoted everybody else that's active in the party. Uh, so that both the monks are now master monks and they got battle gloves to up their attack because I was able to purchase them now. Um, the archer shade has now become a sniper 
equipping the buster shot we got from the bow rider in the last fight. Stock has become a bow knight with a purchased great shot from the shop. Nick has been upgraded to hero. Unfortunately, I do not have a new item for him because the only promoted type sword we've gotten so far is the critical sword, which I have given to Claude. Although, I should actually probably flip that around because his attack is way higher. Mayfair has been promoted to a vicar. Um, yeah, she now has Aura 2, which we will hopefully get to show off this fight. Uh, Roos, as we saw before, is a gladiator, but he now has the running ring, which I need to equip on his turn. That is the treasure that was in this treasure chest. Uh, we have seen the paladin, and of course, Domingo is still just Domingo. I have not pro oh, I, I lied. I have not promoted Gaian, um, just because he was still level 16, and he doesn't need new equipment to up his attack. So I'm going to try and push out the extra, probably level, maybe 2. If I can get him to 18, it'll be great. If he gets to 15 or 17, that'll be a good time for promotion after this fight as well. And I decided to keep Gates in, um, as opposed to Yisha. Just because I can't use magic until this ball is dead, and that ball is probably not going to die until there's only a couple enemies left. So, let's have at it. I'm gonna split the party again, go left and right. I equip. Running ring increases movement by two. Same as what the running pimentos do, and the only one I think that's in book one, I missed, forgot to get, however you wanna put it. And sig this way, and pray this way. I'm trying to think. Who else had special items? Oh, Mayfair has now equipped the Protect Staff, which gives her actually a pretty decent attack with 37. I mean, it's not good, but it's good for a priest. Um, it also upped her defense by two, so that's a nice little touch. Um, Nick will go this way. Domingo will also go this way? No, Domingo will go this way. I guess stuff is headed this way. So I did learn, other than the Brass Gunners, I don't have a whole lot to worry about in this. Although I will... I don't think I brought enough healing items, so hopefully I can not sustain a huge amount of damage. Seven this way, five that way. whole lot of ground before we even get into it. I wish they would, con I, I get what they're doing, they're trying to create a sense of scale, like this is a huge courtyard that you're trying to overrun, but it, like, spending five turns just moving characters before I even get close to an enemy is kind of silly. Good, headbutt him right in the face. 11 damage, that's actually pretty decent. Uh, here come the ghouls. So we saw his 
his sprite before. Okay. Yep, that's right. Attack Domingo, sure. Ooh, 11 points. Alright, maybe don't attack Domingo. Yeah, new plan. Don't do that. Alright. Let's send him here. Actually, send him here. So nobody else can go there. Attack this ghoul. Almost one shot at a ghoul, but full HP without killing a unit. That just shows how far behind you, we are on level. All right, let's show off Nick. Pretty cool. He's got some, like, uh, it's almost like split mail on with plate arms. And he picked up a shield. All good. Also a lot of damage, but see, like, they're just... These creatures are just bleeding experience. Uh, we'll help out here. Deadly Born. And here is our sniper. I love these ridiculous guns that don't make sense. Like, just because you went from using a, like, regular longbow to some crazy ass laser crossbow, I don't. I just don't think it would work. Somewhere along the line, they'd be like, um, I don't actually know how to fire this, guys. <laughs> and let's show off stock here. Pretty cool. Same type of weapon that the sniper had, but he's got some more armor and he's armored up, got a breastplate on and some crazy ass shoulder armor. It's cool. Kill. Yeah. I'm gonna do 11 damage to these things now. That's pretty good. I'm not getting quite full experience from him anymore. Alright. Maybe he'll only get this and do a 17. Oh, but then ghouls were slightly newer too. And there's two of them up there. So, we'll see. Really show anything off for Mayfair because she can't do anything right now. <laughs> oh well, we'll see her sprite now. She's getting attacked. It's very nice. I like it. And only four damage. That's pretty decent defense. <laughs> that pixie's like, you know what? Uh, nuts to this. I'm out. Seems like a very odd choice, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna item give crit sword to you. And then we're gonna equip the crit sword and give the steel sword to Claude. Let's show off the master monk. Cray. Yeah. Yes. We got rid of his staff, and now he super just punches people. That's very much the Master Monk of Shining Force 1 um, style. Make sure hit level 2, HP, defense, and quickness. Alright, alright, well you can't do that, so why don't you use your ring? And that'll probably level you up. Nice. 
Oh, the gate's wear is pink? I was unaware of that. Good for him. HP and defense. Well, you know what? I needed his defense to go up, so that's good. I have a feeling, much like uh, Zilo, Zilo in Shining Force 1, his stats will skyrocket once he gets promoted to a proper beast. Item equip. That makes him bad. 59. I don't give Steel Sword back to Claw. Shot at this pixie. Bam! Plus, I'm a big fan of now basically I don't shoot arrows, I shoot explosives, so that's good too. HP 2, quickness 1. Alright. Not great. I'd rather your defense go up than just pure HP, but here we are. Let me get you out of the way. So let the monk finish that off. I'm really annoyed by this stairwell block. Alright, fine, attack next. Not gonna do you a whole lot of good. Alright. I'm not waiting to try and level up guy in anymore here. Slowing down an entire half of the force. <laughs> there we go. Out of the way. Let's move on. Same as Prey animations now, but just a different color. And two attacks! Missed the first, but luckily the second caught up, and it counters that. Alright. There we go, buddy. Let's keep going. Both it. You know what? He's gonna go there to try and stem the, uh, them blocking me off. There we go. Now I got openings. I won't get plugged at that stairwell. There are actually apps just running away from me. That was somewhat unexpected, but alright. It's kind of weird that Nick doesn't wear a helmet, but I guess that's the, uh, that's the hero motif. Can't cover up that face. Yeah, and he's still got our attack at 54. Is really. that the same? No, Nick ends up with a higher attack, but by 5 difference instead of 10 difference. So. Oh, we'd like Gray. Finish that guy off. Or Sig, sorry. Prey is leading the troop down the other side. Ooh, six damage. Wow. All right. out of you then. Like I said, the brass gunners are the real threats to this fight. HP 3, attack 2, defense 2, quickness 1. See, he's... wow. He is quickly becoming amazing. Uh, his agility uh, did 
has been going up, but I got a boost of three. I used the quick trick and I forgot I had on him, so he'll be going near the beginning of all the rounds now as well. So, just a good thing to remember. Killed a pixie. It's a good thing they're called the evil pixies, otherwise I'd feel bad. They got a really good defense too, so it's understandable. Really? You attack him and not the vicar standing beside you. Alright, game. However you want to do it, it's all good with me. So, his attack has not been going up, and that, I think, is going to become problematic. But he is becoming a tank, with lots of HP and a lot of defense. And his attack is good right now, but that's mostly because of the item. He's using a helmet, which is a fantastic, fantastic spear. damage. Well, you are... you are an archer. I should not be surprised when you take damage. levels like that, my friend, and you're gonna quickly find your way off my teeth. Well, I'm down to six, taking six points of damage from it, so that's something. Really? You're gonna run. I'm not gonna get a full level out of him. Alright, Minotaur. Suck it. I love that the Minotaurs don't have axes, they just have... It says axe, but their sprite looks like a, a mace. Which is, I guess is an upgrade, because in Shining Force 1 it looked like they just had a pipe, like they didn't, you couldn't see the ball on the end of it, so it looked like they were just hitting you with a, like, a giant-ass lead pipe. Which, while hilarious, is not the best weapon to be using when people are coming at you with real weapons. I guess it's pretty good. It's better than nothing. No, I'm not giving you more experience, because I'm not sure if you're staying. I don't know if I need two archers. It is nice because I have to keep splitting the party, but... 
They could probably go without. 19 for punching a ghoul. Is that all he did to it? Attack 45. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Can I kill you? No, one point. I was thinking maybe you do a couple. You're probably dead. Oh. Okay. Um. You're gonna stem this guy off. Make sure I don't die there. You're gonna attack just because you can. Four points of damage. Good job, Mayfair. She attacks again! Fanta- Oh no, counter attack. Oh, really? I forget that she has a good defense. She makes a fantastic healer. Yeah, 25, okay. So he's gonna get promoted at level 17. One of the lower ones, but... Uh, I guess that's what my... That's what the priests were. him off or it would probably kill Star. And I don't want to pay to revive him. Yeah, alright. Alright, Bruce, you just keep being you, buddy. Which is apparently a ball of fury with an act attached to it. Brass Gunners can deal some damage. So I can show off some of uh, uh, my new magic. And it'll be fine because I actually have people that need healing. Except just not this round. Alright, brass gunner is dangerous, it needs to die. If it's the wrong person, it's gonna be way too much damage. Attack by three? Holy crap! Fight this ghoul! One shot that ghoul! <laughs> and still gain full XP for it. If anything, I'll just leave the uh, Deadly Born alive. Sorry, level 
level five. Well, let's see that our guys catch up. Nice. Two HP, one attack, three defense. Okay. That's six defense since promotion. I don't remember how much damage I'm gonna do to these people, so you'll be fine. Not killing it. Yeah. problem. Either that or I'm gonna... I don't know which way it goes. Still no attack boost. Oh man, what are you doing to me, game? I don't want to have to give him up. Nor do I want to train the other paladin. I dodged two attacks. And counterattack. Wow. Alright. And gained 49 experience. Alright, let's just freaking kill this thing. There, done. And it gave me a thousand gold. Okay. Alright, let's regroup. Gonna have to go run down and take that gunner out. Luckily it's coming at us. Let's show off Aura 2. Look at this. Look at this majesty. Yeah, that's probably the best combination there. So it's this huge range, which is the biggest range in the game. There's only a couple things that use it. This, um, the higher level bolt spells, and I think boost 2 may? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Boost 2 does as well. That's expensive, but... It's reg regular heal, so up to 15 hit points on everybody inside it. Unfortunately, she still only gets 25 XP for using it. Hoping it would be, it would be more. Uh, the monks have not gotten a big chance to shine this fight, so they're gonna be the one. Oh, and I can do this. Uh, we'll wait till it's one round closer. be fine at that. I'll promote him from 17. Well, I only got a couple rounds left, so we're just gonna cast Aura once or twice, so she can get some more XP. And her magic points start to skyrocket as she levels now. MP1, attack 1, defense 1. Not a great level up. Wow. We'll get 
some uh, some range support in there to make this go a little faster. Attack one, defense one. Okay. Damn. Yeah, seven points. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit. You got a little bit of attack. Not by much. And Domingo in the steal the kill freeze three because he hasn't been able to do anything useful in this round for this entire fight. So here he is. Awesome. No one has ever survived my fizzle balls before. I don't think I ever want to have to say that sentence again. No matter, I'll kill you with my bare hands. Dantum, lend me your soldiers. You disgust me if Waldo could see you now. I see everything. <laughs> Ouch. And he is quite disappointed. Let me explain, sir. Return to the palace now. Again, why don't I have fun teleporty tubes? It's actually really disappointing. Phantom, the honor and Prince Nick's head are yours. You may claim them when ready. Prince Nick, I await you in Gundalf Fort. I warn you, do not keep me waiting. Alright, we basically just had an invitation to walk right into the fort. So, I'm gonna switch some members around, I'm gonna take Gates back out, put my other mage back in, and I'll promote Gaian, and uh, we'll see you guys next time when we take on Dantum. Have a great day.